What's up hobby friends, my name is Casey and this is eBay Miniature Rescues. Today we're going to paint up the old Rogue Creator model Zodgrod Wartsnaga. Yeah. I am so glad to be back and I'm absolutely excited for 2021. I wanted to start this year off light and pull out an old model that's been laying around for quite a while. I bought this Rogue Trader era runt herder for $12.93. Not too bad for a named character model that can still be used in a modern game. And being a pewter model, I know that I can strip the rest of this paint off and start over. Let's jump right into getting this guy stripped and primed. No time to waste now that it's the new year. As for colors on this old fella, I figured I'd keep it pretty similar to most of the other orcs I've painted recently on this channel. I do want to do something with the hair because even in older pictures, this dude has some crazy stuff going on. I got a new wet palette for Christmas, so I figured I'd show how I go about setting that up for painting. Toss the papers that it comes with, use parchment paper instead, and lay down some paint. Now I did use the papers to kind of size out the parchment paper, so I guess they did serve a purpose. But that's it. Here are the main colors I'll be working with for this project. Some nice greens that can transition into lighter flesh tones. I'll throw in some blue and red to take care of the hair and eyes, and a variety of metallics to go with the rest of the model. The first thing I'm gonna do is take care of the skin. I wanna be a little messy with this because I wanna wet blend some of the other tones into that base color. So I give each part a liberal coating and come in with the highlight colors. Blend them into each other like you would on your palette. And when it dries, you get a really smooth blend. Next up, I'm going to start grabbing some other base coats and fill in more details. The hair in particular, I went with a desaturated purple and a nice light blue. I wet blended these lines together and highlighted each part individually by adding white to the base color. So I don't know the lore behind this particular character, but I'm not going to change the wacky hair in fear that it would upset someone. I'm sure it already did. It's really nice to be back at the painting table. I took a week off for the holidays and I've gotta say, it was really nice, but it felt weird being away. Something about the love and support of this community just makes me wanna work that much harder and I guess I just miss you guys. For the metallics, I decided to go pretty simple with a dark steel. Once that's dry, I can come back in with a light silver and make everything really stand out. And it makes the metal look worn and used, which really matches my idea of what orcs are supposed to be. Kind of beaten down and always the underdog. Get me 
Ooh, this right here is one of my favorite parts. But before we get to that, let's talk about what this model actually is in 40k today and what I wanted to do with it. Here's the most current orc codex. Flipping through, there's a ton of really nice stuff, but let's get to the runt herder stats. Now, for some reason, I thought that this model could herd squigs. I don't know why, probably just wishful thinking. Well, he can't, but he can run with a large handful of Gretchen, which I am fully on board for. I do have a few of those lying around, but according to the book, I'm gonna need more than a few to make this actually playable. So for now, I'm gonna be on the hunt for a ton of Gretchen. I do wonder, how many could I paint in one sitting? A video for another time, perhaps. I also wanted to point out this super sweet mug here. This was a gift from my wife, and she got it engraved just for me. Okay, so we're entering the third level of Inception right now, but I need to throw this out there. If this video gets, say, 2,000 likes, I'll get an orc tattoo and film it. These videos tend to get around 1,000, so I feel like that's a pretty good gamble, but for real. I'll do it. All right, back to the thing. This bone I was figuring would be some kind of squig toy. So I wanted it to look like fresh meat was taken off of it, covering it in a reddish brown glaze and then coming in with a clean brush to pull away some of that glaze gave this bone a really cool look and I thought it was perfect. But of course, as we found out earlier, no squigs. Onto tidying up some of the details and adding the grime layer to pull this guy into my army. I use a purple red for the hair and a nice helping of Agrax Earthshade over the rest of the model. This really brings it all together and grafts this model into my existing army. The final thing to do is to put him on a base. Coincidentally, I have the perfect base for him, and it will dethrone this little Gretchen. I figured this model will go on to a smaller base later and become one of the rest of the squad. I also like the fact that this base feels more proper for this model, that he's lording over his troops and just yelling at him from the top of a little hill. All in all, a very nice way to start the new year, and honestly, I cannot wait to see what happens over the course of 2021. Subscribe for more rescues in the future, and don't forget to hit that like button. And remember, 2,000 likes, and I will make that video. Once again, thank you for joining me on another miniature rescue. I'm Casey, and I will see you in the next video. So